If you want my honest opinion, I do not remember the last time I changed an immersion. So today we're changing the 27 inch titanium. Not the best thing. Uh, immersion spanner. I've not had this out for absolute years. It's crazy seeing that out, but it's also good. Shoe covers outside, I put them on just there. I don't need them on, but just a uh, common case to have your shoe covers put on. Still not use it yet. The old Milwaukee Raptor with the battery. I've got a boiler service kit there as well. Love a little cat there. Boiler service kit there. I serviced that worst of the day. I've seen the last, one of the last videos. It was making a rumbling noise. I couldn't get much footage because the uh, client was there, but good. Bought a full service kit from. You get them in, get them in the bars like that, and then you get that in there as well. Like I say. What I'm in the van for now, though, is my hammer, because what I'm going to show you to do is how to change the immersion. It doesn't look the best, but I'm hoping I can get this changed uh, all being well in. I want to more that I can hope to get out of the unit. So if I can't get out of the unit, it's going to be knackered. It will be a new unit required by the client, but I'm, I'm hoping, like I say, where others say no, we come in and do it. Pretty simple jobs like this. Need the basics. Cylinder's isolated at my inlet to the cylinder. And I've got my cylinder. It's a bit like a college scenario with this. So we'll just run through, obviously, what the plan is, what we're doing. Milwaukee Light to the Rescue. So I've got my immersion spanner, they're the best ones in Monument, solid, get on some good, hammer to give it a crack, bits and bats there, paste required with the new immersion. So as we stand and look at it, what this is, it's in Economy 7, and what that means is, I don't know if it still applies now, but back in the day, you used to be able to get your electric cheaper on a night, so Economy 7, what will happen is this unit will warm up on a night when it's required. This is literally like you guys at Lane as well, is what's like at college. We've got a tank here with our cold feed. So we've got cold feed in the cold feed, uh, cold inlet of your cold main, should I say there. Here, cold feed comes up your tank, fills up that cylinder with cold water. And then it comes out as a taps open through there. As this element heats it up, obviously there will be expansion as well as things heat the expanse. It just expands into the tank there. But what you'll find is the level of water will be about here. So the water will only ever sit roughly about there. Obviously, if it expands much, that'll expand up. This will increase as well, the level of the water in the tank. So it's a pretty simple scenario. What I'm going to do now is just literally do a test to make sure that my uh, my live... I know it's turned off anyway, but just test that the live's isolated, the neutral as well, uh, and then the air. So I'll just test, obviously, polarity check, make sure everything's isolated. Then I'll look at getting that out now again. That doesn't look too clever, I don't know, honestly, but we'll give it a go, eh? So what I'm doing is I'm testing against my lab probe there and my neutral just to make sure nothing is going through. I'll test across lav to F, make sure she's good, and then test that as well. So I'm confident now, like I say, that's all isolated. So what I can do here, I'm going to leave the pocket starting. So I've got an electrician down already. Uh, he surveyed this and it's not working. So we come in and we will literally just do the swap. I've said about doing the wire in it. And I just said to be fair, if he's happy with it, I'll just wire it back up the actual bad. Knowing that it's all safely isolated. Pull that off, then what I'll do here. That's a miss slot in it. Oh, it's positive bonus. Disconnect off its feed. So it's just slotted. So I've got all this disconnected now. So what I'll do, I'll pull my pocket stout up there. Long probe stout there. Just leave electrics down there because it's all isolated safe. What I need to do now is look at getting that out of there. So what I've done, I haven't drained the full tank. You don't need to drain the full tank, obviously. I've isolated the water. I've drained the taps open. So there will inevitably be some dead water sat in here, but that is shafted. I'll put my towel there. What I need to do is get that cracked while the cylinder's full. Then if I need to drain more water out, I will. The reason being why I do it is if I try drain, cracking that now, Whilst that is empty, I'll crush the cylinder. So, brutally being honest with you, I ain't going to get it like that. So, we'll give this a go. So, I tell you now, that is not going to crack.
think she just cracked now. Anyway. There is sounds of bust on that cylinder, but Get a bit of water. Nothing too much so. And see the element there, I'll be honest with you, don't look that bad. But we'll look at things like this. Potentially where it's split shot there, see? So it's not heating up because it's shot there, so basically in that there. So as opposed to that one, so you can see there the difference. They're both the same length. Uh, same thread there as well. What I'll do is start undoing that. So that's ready for wiring. And I don't know why. Let's get rid of the old one. This is how I've always done these. It is each their own. Laco slick type paste. Not on there, obviously. So I always apply plenty on that flange there. Plenty of paste. I think to be fair, if you're competent, you could actually do these yourself because they aren't that bad to do. It's just knowing that if it's going to go or not. And then what I do, get my gasket seal, put your gasket seal over there like that. Stick it around like that. Once she's stuck on like that, more likely you can't have too much of this. Not plenty of it on because you don't want to be putting this together, filling it up, and you've got to leak. It just it's nothing, it's the worst that like it's horrible and that happens. I've done it to me before where you sling things in, don't bother putting the paste on, you think it'll be alright, so don't be shy with it. Blood of it. And then what you're looking for, first and foremost. The flange is nice and clean, so rub any debris, anything off there. What I'm going to do, drop the new one in, like so, but let this do the work, so get it squared up something like, and you want to be doing it. So, what? get it levelled up like that, and start, let that do the work. You notice, I should be able to wind that most of the way home, like so. I know it's not cross-threaded. Dry it all up because again, we don't want surplus water there later on. I'm gonna do reach my spanner. And it's just a case of a couple of tweaks, and then what I'll do there, once I'm happy with that, so I'm, I'm more than I'm kind of I've always done this just to the old lucky. Quarter tap. So new ones all in and uh, done. They aren't so bad. Again, it's just obviously confidence more. Like I've got to go downstairs now, turn the water off to the taps and get this cylinder back on. Play edge some water and get it wired. The joys of not having a lad with you. That you just went past off an apprentice, you know, up and down and doing stuff, but we just crack on and get it done. So what I'm gonna do now is introduce Water back to you'll hear it. There she goes. Okay, going away, bless her. So it's going back, filling up full there now. As it should. And what I'll do whilst I'm getting that wired up, I'll uh, keep checking out, just making sure. Not so bad. Get it done. The atmosphere is economical, honestly. The contract said to me, electrical, what should I do with getting new ones? Well, not necessarily, it doesn't need new ones, it's still the sound. It's 
it's okay it's not leaking it's just jackets a bit short so you could look at getting a new jacket potentially but again it is what it is we just do as the clients ask like i say we could come in by like, yeah but it's doing its job that's the main we'll get it wired up always follow manufacturing instructions you can't really go wrong you look at that there so basically you've got your live to your start uh f goes to rod bar then the neutral is going to the blue so when i look at that now neutral f live for the wire and gummit holder there so we'll just get that wired up now and done They're just fiddling all around, aren't they? Again, just take your time. There's no point in rushing stuff like this. Just take your time, nice and steady. Make sure it's right the first time. Do you know what I mean? Your air wants to be the main one. The wall will be tight, but your air will make sure that is always nice and tight. While that goes on, just test for any water there. Wearing again. Pen lav. Neutral. Air. Good. And what I go do now, I go test some water downstairs. I go pull some water through just to purge all the wear out. Take some tools back on the way down. We're the loft bear man. So we still always tidy up after us as well, don't we? There's no excuse for that. So power's back on to test. Now I can't test this amazing spot electrician. He's gonna pop back and double check on everything. But in a nutshell, uh, economy seven turned back on. So as of tonight, it will have hot water that's all nice and watertight there so all in all jobs are good on i'll be honest with you i know i don't like with, but i'll usually leave the old immersions on site with that because it's in the loft as well reason being just people can see obviously if one has been changed and why it's been changed in the past like i say but over and out another job done yeah my pigeons in your loft <laughs>